have come back to the playground. It is literally like 8.40 in the morning. Um, but these boys were excited to come back. So we thought, why not come here straight after breakfast when it's a bit quieter. Dad's here. And Dad's here and Quinn's here and Mike is here. There are a few other people here. But good time to come. I'm wearing Buzz's jumper today. Um, my granddad's jersey. Making me miss my family already and we haven't even left yet. Is that fun? I feel like I'm on a scooter. You want to stop now? Oh, okay. Should we go see what your brothers are doing? Hello? Hello, whoa! Hello, we are. Hey! You came with Dada? Yeah. Ezra's, Ezra's climbing up. You. I'm here. I can hear you. We are. Go. I'm here. Go. Go. I see you. Go. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Quinn's going in this swing. Okay. It rocks in like all directions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Go. Go. Push. Ninja Warrior, December 2022. Quinn Vaz takes the pole. Can he get up? Let's see how long it's going to take him to hit the buzzer at the end. Can he do it? He's up. All right, let's do this. Come on, Quinn, you got this. Good job. He's getting there. He's up to the third pole. Can he make it? How long was that? Um, I think it was only like 15 or 30 seconds. Oh yeah, pretty good. I think it was 15. I think you're going to make the top four. What? I think you're going to make the top four. You made it to the grand final. Is that alright? Yeah. Oh, no, he's just come close. All right, are you ready? Yes. Hold on tight. Yeah. Hold on tight. Down. I'm gonna go down, ready? I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Wait, Quinn's gonna come. Okay, hop up, Mike. Okay. Go. Going up. Going down. Going up the hill. I'm ready to go down, Micah. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, Daddy's just going home to go do some more cleaning. Um, so we are just staying and hanging out the park. And we'll walk back to our, the place that we're staying at soon. It's only like a 10 minute walk, so it's really nice. Um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? Tomorrow. Um, so exciting. I'm very excited. Santa has everyone's Christmas presents ready. Um, I think. There it is. The boys are really excited because there's a roller on the grass. Let's see if we can focus more on that. Look at that. How cool is that? So amazing. The twins have just woken up from their nap. Are they all for you? No. Have a candy cane and find out its meaning. Do you want to have a look at these, Quinn? Can you see what each of the different parts means? What do you think the red is for? The strawberry. <laughs> it's not strawberry. Should we have a take, take a look at this? I'll read it to you, okay? Can you show me how it might be a J? What does J stand for? J for? Jam. J for jam. What about, what's Christmas all about? J for? The birth of baby. 
Jesus. So it's a J for Jesus. Or you could turn it upside down and it is a shepherd's staff. All oh, the shepherds call their sheep in. The red is for the colour of... Manuk. Yeah, that's the J for Jesus. The red is for... To represent the colour of blood shed for us. When Jesus gave his life for us. The white is because he washed our sins away and made us white as snow. The stripes are because his stripes healed us. And the candy, because it's sweet... Is like his love grows sweeter for us every day. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So that's what the candy cane represents. And I'll read you this little poem. Mom, my candy cane already broke. No, <laughs> mm, that'll be easier to open then. All right, while well, Quinn's munching, the legend of the candy cane. Look at the candy cane. What do you see? Stripes that are red for the blood shed for me. White is for my saviour, who's sinless and pure. J is for Jesus, my Lord, that's for sure. Turn it around and a staff you will see. Jesus, my shepherd, was born for me. Is that nice? Nice little sweet treat after waking up. You two are still half asleep. <laughs> do you want to eat yours now? What are we going to do this afternoon, Quinn? What do you boys want to do? Sit and stare at the tree.